YouTube, what's going on? Just preaching. So, what in the world? That's my dog. <laughs> we out here in this uh, vacant field right beside my house. You know, let her run around a little bit. She missed me, so she keep hugging me and jumping all on me like she's still a little puppy. Here she is, two years old now. But she's doing all this jumping around and stuff. I'm like, what's wrong with her? So, getting the, uh, while I'm getting this work done on the truck, you know, while I'm waiting on the um, ECM, I dropped that off this morning. Uh, they said that they'll probably be finished with it today. But they only work on on Monday through Friday. So if they don't be finished with it today, then they'll be finished with it on Monday. So, plus it's my uh, daughter's fifth birthday. You know, she had a little birthday party at school and stuff like this. My wife going overboard with all this and stuff. Just o o overboard. Just spending money for, for no reason. And y'all know how they do with kids, man. I'm just like, come on, girl. But... And uh, in the previous video I put out, showed you the uh, the air leaks that I got, which is, is, is very expected with older trucks. Now, even new trucks have leaks. So with new trucks having leaks, you know old trucks is gonna have leaks. And then some people, not all, some people be like, well, why do you even God, it's time for a new truck. It's time for a new truck. It's time for another truck. Well, I said, well, why? When I was with uh, Warner, good old Warner right there, I had a new truck. And guess what? It still was in the shop. Difference is I ain't have to pay nothing for it, but it still was in the shop. Look at my previous videos that I had with the trucks. I had a brand new truck. Guess what? It was still in the shop. You know, I mean, so you 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 be some of y'all are not ready to be an owner op because you think that you just want to get a truck, and when you get the truck, you don't want to spend no money on the truck. You know, then you need to stay a company driver because part of being an owner op is you are responsible for everything. You don't have nobody holding your hand. You don't have nobody that's gonna be like, hey, okay. Well, uh, just take, take take the truck to the shop and get it fixed. You know, no, nah, yeah, you got to take care of this and stuff. It's your responsibility to take care of this stuff. Some of y'all are not ready to be on a uh, new owner. Out. You, you just ain't because you don't want to spend no money. You're not expecting breakdowns. There is no business out there that you start that you do not set money aside in your budget for the month for maintenance. Every business have a maintenance account. Even in the office, they have a maintenance account because they got to take care of lights, electrical stuff, plumbing. They got to uh, set out budget each month for maintenance. It's just in your budget. That's how you run the business. And that's what I mean by some of these truckers never ran the business before. And now you want to start a trucking company and you do not even know anything about a P&L. You don't know anything about business. In business, you have to set money. When I was a chef, okay, we had brand new restaurants. I opened up a lot of restaurants, okay? And they had money set aside for maintenance. Yeah, they had a warranty on every single thing, but guess what? It still broke down. Brand new, spanking brand new stuff. It still broke down. One month of being opening up, guess what? It still broke down. You got to call people out to get it fixed. It's still brand new stuff. It breaks down. You have to expect things to break down. In my budget, I have $1,000 a month that I set aside. That's $250 a week for maintenance on my truck. Now, if we just talk about air leaks, the fittings only cost between $6 to $10, y'all. Depending on the size of the fitting. I have one fitting that costs like um $18. Okay, so replace two fittings. It's not even going to take my mechanic 
10 minutes for that. Sometimes he won't even charge me nothing to replace the fitting. You know, I go get the fitting and he'll put it in, things like that. Or while he going over my truck, he say, hey, I found this leak. Here's your old fitting, here's the new fitting. It's just that simple. Even though I'm taking care of this old truck, I haven't had any engine problems at all. The engine is smooth. I haven't had any transmission problems, any um, rear end problems with the back gearbox, anything. I have not had any problems with that. All the problems that I have is stuff that I expected when I first bought this truck for $6,400. I knew I would have to get new hoses. I knew I'm going to have to get new fittings because the truck is 20 years old and it's set up for a year. I knew possibly I had to get a fuel pump. Now I knew I had to get a starter and a new alternator, which I did. I got a new starter, had got a new alternator put on that stuff. And the fuel pump was suspect. But then I wind up a month later after I got the truck getting a, uh, a new fuel pump. I got all new fuel lines. I knew this going in because that's what you do. You don't buy a truck for $6,400 and you just put it on the road and now you break it down. Now you're getting mad because you break it down. It don't work like that. When I first bought this truck, I put another $5,000 into it, getting it road ready. Okay, doing all that stuff. And I told myself, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save $1,000 a month and then out of that thousand dollars, I'm going to be fixing all the other little stuff like the fittings, like um, more hoses. Okay, I, had, I already had put new brakes, new drums on it when I first got the truck. All new brakes all the way around, all new drums all the way around. Okay, so you have to expect this going into new owner op. Yeah, you're going to spend money. Okay, even if you have a new truck, then you're going to lose money because you still got to make a truck payment and your truck is still in the shop. And you may have a shop that it takes a week for them to even get to you. My mechanic works on my truck right away. I develop a great relationship with him. He'll stop what he's doing because it's real easy stuff that he's doing with mine. He'll spend an hour or two doing a little stuff. I'm back on the road and I'm going. All right. So, you as new owner ops, some of y'all are not ready. Lona, come here. Some of y'all are not ready because you, 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 you got in your mind that you don't want to spend no money. Okay, since I got the truck after I have been, took it being road ready, I have only spent about $45,000, bucks. $5,800 that I, I have spent since I got the truck. Okay, and I'm in month four, <sighs> going on month five so you're looking at that's about twelve hundred dollars a month that i have spent on my truck since i've been on the road and since i had got ready okay so now when you're looking at that if i had a truck payment that's still cheaper than the truck payment right on twelve hundred bucks a month keep it around it see what i'm saying so yeah it's an older truck yes i expect to spend some money on it but the major components I'm not spending no money on it. And at the same time, my truck is getting ready because once you didn't fix it, guess what? It's going to run without any breakdowns or anything. Okay. When I'm bringing it home between twenty-three dollars to $3,000 a week, you know, I can afford that because I don't have a truck payment. Okay. So what me sitting aside $1,000 a month, two fifty dollars a week, to put inside my truck, what difference is it gonna make? If I had a truck payment, I have a truck payment, right? And I guarantee you it's gonna be more than $1,200 a month. I guarantee you it's gonna be more than $1,200 a month. So I'd rather spend 1000 to $1,200 a month for a couple of months getting this truck rolling and ready and keeping it up than to have a truck payment and still have to put money in it because unless you're getting a warranty from a place most places is as is when you get the truck they may help you out with some stuff but as soon as it start breaking down boom but in this case i know that it's going to break down and i know what i need to get it done and i already researched it on how much it's going to cost me to get this thing all the way redone again okay so i'm looking at i still got a, about another four the five thousand dollars put on it my new dashboard cost eighteen hundred bucks for the new dashboard for the truck 
okay so to get the new dashboard put in for my truck and that's going to cost me a total of about 24 to 2500 bucks i already know that okay then i got a couple more um hoses that i got to uh put in there and then i'm getting a uh a overhaul done which is still just a, a regular maintenance thing on it okay and the best thing about it is as he's working on my engine he's checking for leaks and all the other particular stuff and all my seals and everything because like i said it's been sitting for a year and it really haven't been running you can't get an older truck and expect not to spend no money on it why even get it then you're gonna get mad when it keeps breaking down on you okay it, it, that's just happen what happened and then if you don't know how to make money, you're going to be mad because now you got your truck costing you money. You don't have no money to fix it. That's not my case. OK, my case is I make plenty of money and I'm home. OK, <laughs> I make plenty of money at home. Can I make more money? Yeah, I can average bring a home three thousand to thirty five hundred dollars a week. But then that take away from me. Being home with my family and my kids. Like I said, I got a daughter that's just not turning five. She, she four. Her birthday is this Sunday. Okay, I have prop. I got teenage boys getting ready to turn 16, April the 4th. They're going to be turning 16 years old. So that we going through that teenage stuff when I got to, you know, knock on their head and do some stuff like that to them to keep them in line because they got a little hair on their chest and they taller than me. I'm six foot. I have a son that's six foot and I have a son that's six two. So they, you know, they got a little hell on their chest. So, you know, so I'm trying to be home while they're going through this in transition <clears throat> and dealing with stuff in school. So I'm fine with bringing $2,300 home and being home five nights a week and off on Saturdays and Sundays. Like I said, my mechanic is here. My mechanic shop is what, six miles, six, seven miles from my house. My truck there, he's doing all that little stuff to it. I'll be back on the road on Monday, possibly Tuesday, uh, depending on um, how long it takes for them to uh, fix my um, ECM in it. That ECM is over 20 years old, and it's just not um, having some problems. I knew that going in, but $600 for them to fix it. Reprogram it. I'm getting it tuned up. I'm turning up my, uh, my N14 to uh, 500 with uh 1750 on the torque so and then later on i plan on turning it my truck into a um a 13 speed you know right now it's a nine speed so i'm going to turn it up to um a 13 speed but that's later on that's neither nor or here so i don't have that to worry about look at it y'all huh yeah good girl good girl yes we are yeah, taught her some stuff. She's real good with commands, you know, Australian Shepherd. So, yeah, but that's that's all that's going on. Okay, if you don't want to spend money, do not be an owner op. If you think you're gonna spend a little bit amount of money as an owner op, no. Just expect that in your budget. See, like like I was saying before, a lot of people don't even have a PNL. Don't run a PNL. Only thing they try to do is I need to make all my load two dollars a mile, at least two dollars a mile, and just pay my bills two dollars a mile. You don't have a plan. You don't have a budget. I budget that into um my monthly budget. All right. And then now that I got my taxes and stuff done for last year, last year I had a net of seventy four hundred bucks for my business. That was a net. So I had to pay taxes on seventy four hundred dollars. <sighs> on on my um my business that's what i had to do i was like what so and that was after i got paid after I, um i put money into it but what i did was i hold off on the money that i put inside of my truck i hold off and i'm, I'm gonna have that on this particular year and not last year because what happens is um all the money I put on my truck, if it went to the deductions, I wouldn't owe no money uh, to the government. But I wanted more money this year because I knew I was doing a lot more stuff uh, to the truck. So I wanted to add that to uh, my taxes for this year. So that way, by the end of the year, I know I'm not going to be paying no taxes for sure. Especially because I'm really, really up and running um, at this time. So since I know I'm really up up and running at this time, 
you know, I want to make sure I don't have no taxes. So I'd rather pay taxes on the 7400 which wasn't much even to pay taxes on the um, 7400 bucks. It, it really wasn't nothing at all. So um, the IRS is four to six months behind with the S Corp because I filed as a, uh, I want to file as, as S Corp, but I haven't gotten my papers from the government yet. So I just filed, filed as a sole proprietor. So they uh, transfer that 7400 that I owe um, to my personal tax side and add that on to the amount of money that I had. But my tax return on my personal side, uh, I got 7,500 bucks back on taxes, even after they added the uh, the 7,400. So I still made out like a bandit, still don't owe no taxes. They actually got some money back um, for my taxes and everything. So like I said, man, don't be an owner up if you don't want to spend money. Don't even get inside the game because you think you get an older truck. I don't care if you get a brand new truck. You're not spending no money with a brand new truck, but you're spending time. No matter where you at, you be inside of a hotel, wherever you at, getting stuff fixed. Okay, I have not had the opportunity. I hope I don't have the opportunity to spend time inside of a hotel because of the breakdown while I'm on the road. My truck get me back home every single time. I may have a little air leak here and there or... Um, that pressure valve that I had with my fuel pump that one time. I may have little, little what knots like that, but you know, my truck get me back home every single time. You know, so I mean, don't be an owner up, okay? If you don't want to spend money, it's just that simple. It's just that simple. I can't say it no more simpler than that. Don't be an owner up if you do not want to spend money, okay? Because every time. I see a lot of other comments on other people's pages when they talk about their truck. Get a new truck. Get a new truck. Get a new truck. No, no, you go get a new truck, okay? You go get a new truck. You think you're going to get a new truck and you ain't going to have no breakdowns. It don't work like that. All new trucks have breakdowns. Look at everybody. Look at all these truckers that got a new truck on YouTube, all right? Eventually, their truck was in the shop for something. They didn't have to fix it. They didn't have to pay to fix it, but the truck was in the shop. Brand new truck. Okay, so it happens, okay? It really do happen, but it just expect it to happen. Be ready when it happens. And don't get down when it happens, okay? Do not get down when it happens. Okay, man, this video like 17 minutes. Oh, I'll talk to y'all later.